Hello YouTube, SP99 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a rainbow desktop background like this one using Photoshop. Now you can use uh, this technique for any background which you can personalise, as long as you know the screen size for it. So you can do it for Facebook banner, profile picture, uh, YouTube banner, it really does not matter. But uh, I'm going to be doing mine based on my desktop background. So um, if you don't know your desktop screen size anyway, you need to go to your settings and control panel. Um, and you need, to, you need to go to appearance and personalization, uh, display. And then on the top, you need to press adjust resolution. And that will bring you up to this screen. And you can see my resolution is, uh, is here. So that's how big my uh, Photoshop document is going to be. So if I head over to uh, Photoshop and press File and New to make a new document, uh, I just need to add in um, my screen size. And I think it was 768. I'm just going to check. Okay. So once you've um, put in your screen size um, and set it to pixels, set your background to white and press OK. Now that will bring up your, uh, your document. And before we do anything else, you need to go down to your layers. Um, and double click on the background just to unlock the layer and press OK and now we can start making our background so what you want to do is click your gradient tool um, and have it on black and white and on linear gradient um, if it's not on any of these you can change it at the top here um, and then what you want to do is from the bottom to the top is press shift and drag your mouse up and let go and it's, your screen will look like this. Now the white bit at the top is going to be the bit that's going to get um, the rainbow colour to it. So if you want it the other way around, just drag your mouse from the top to the bottom. Um, once you're at this set, at this uh, at this point, you need to go to the top bars here, press filter, and go down to distort, and press wave. Okay, and I'll bring you up to this, this little screen here. Um, and you're going to be given a preview of um, what it's going to look like here in this box um, so you want to set your type to square but um, in my opinion that's the best results but of course you can use triangle or sign but square is what I'm going to be using and then number of generators um, you want to have it about 12-ish don't really want it any too anything too high because if you see here you do start to lose some resolution so I'm just going to keep mine at 12 and press OK once you're happy with your preview, okay, and your screen should look something like this. So if you go to your layer now and right click on the layer, go to blending options, um, this screen will pop up. So you want to go on this left hand side, go to gradient overlay, okay, and the background's gone white, but that's okay. So you need to go to gradient, and on this little icon here, click that and go right to the bottom to spectrums. And this, this uh, window here is going to pop up, Just so just press OK. And then press the first one there. As you can see, that's changed the background. And then to return it to how it was, you go back to Reset Gradients, press OK. And that will give you back your gradients, which you started off with. So you click off that. Um, to get give it the, the ripple effect, you need to go to Blend Mode. And under that, you need to select Linear Burn. Okay, if I move out, that out of the way, you can start to see the waterfall kind of effect to it. Um, but obviously we want all the colours in it, so you want to adjust the angle. Um, and you want to have it either on 0 or 180. Because if I have it on 0, it will look like this. The blue is on the left. But if I put it on 180 degrees, then it's the other way around. You can see the blue is on the right. Um, once you're happy with that, you can either change the op opacity. Um, but I'm going to keep mine fully on 100 um, and once you're happy with that, press OK and that, that's, that's it really, you just um, save uh, save your, your background uh, desktop backgrounds just call it 4 save it as a PNG um, and save that it will take a, a few seconds just to save it down here um, and once you're happy with that, you can go to your desktop, you can right click, personalise, 
open that you can go to desktop background as I, I've got on a slideshow in a minute and that will bring up all the images in that folder and there you go that's the one we've just saved so if I want to change to that I'll just select that and I can just save changes here go back and that's my desktop background so uh, that's it guys um, really easy to do so thanks for watching I uh, hope you liked the video and I'll see you next time bye